Hey guys, it's Cinco de Mayo. Could you? Could you hey guys, it's Cinco de Mayo. Could you? Could you tell? Hey Genie. I once had a Cinco de Mayo party where everything I made had a little bit of mayo in it. It was it was kind of gross, and no one really got it. So we're not gonna do that this year. I've got new tips for you. Tip: Don't make standard margaritas. I cut up jalapeno, put it in a tequila bottle. Let that sit for 24 hours. You have jalapeno infused tequila. Your friends will be so impressed. It didn't take long at all. Oh, but here's a tip: um, You don't want to touch your face after you've cut jalapenos. Oh, you knew that. Oh, great. Thanks for telling me that. Learned that one the hard way. Do you know how to put salt on the rim? You just get the rim wet, have a plate full of salt, and roll it in the salt. Pour, garnish, sip. These mason cups and the pitcher are both dishwasher safe for easy cleanup. Another fun tip is to put gummy worms in the bottom of your margarita. Remember how tequila bottles used to have the worm on the bottom? I'm having spring break flashbacks. Oh, and do not skimp on the chimps and salsa. Top shelf, or middle at least. And fresh guacamole is a must. It's easier than you think. I have a great recipe on my Tumblr, heygenie.tumblr.com. Tweet me with your margarita, guacamole, or Cinco de Mayo tips, and have a great holiday. Adios. Was I wearing this hat the whole time? Hey, Genie. Hey guys, it's Jeannie, and I took the leftover food from an office meeting today, and someone needs to eat it before it goes bad, so guess what? Dance show finale party! Hey Jeannie! TV finale parties are great because everyone's glued to the TV and not to the rooms you didn't vacuum. Oh, and a dance costume -y wardrobe is not a requirement, but it's just a great excuse to wear one of your why did I buy this outfits. Do you not see the sequence? There's sequence. Right here. Party tip, you can get a star ice cube tray and make star ice cubes. My mason tumbler is double walled so it keeps hot drinks hot and cold drinks cold. Also this drink is sweat proof. Not like the celebrities on the show. They get so glistening. Another party tip, make scorecards for your guests to hold up like ice skating judge style. We should weigh in, right? So the stars on this dancing show, are they stars? They're really digging deep into the cosmos here. It's like they're asteroids. Whatever, they all lose at least five pounds, and you gotta commend them for that. And I know you're gonna be inspired, so you should have dance-offs during the commercial breaks and definitely Hey guys, it's Jeannie, and it's time to go shopping the no-stress way, which means we're not leaving our kitchen. Hey Jeannie. Some tips for a really productive online shopping trip. Uh, comfy clothes, caffeine. You need snacks nearby, just in case you're running low on fuel. You don't have to wear shoes. One thing I like to do is to go to a site that's kind of expensive and just fill up my cart. And then right before I enter my credit card information, I close the tab. Oh, I just got an email from Greg at Aladdin. No, no, no. Thanks. Oh, he says that there is an online promo code which you can use to get Aladdin products, which is a great gift idea. You could get a coworker this huge Aladdin Mason tumbler and fill it with their favorite drink. Or this, my favorite to-go coffee mug. They're gonna have this for years. They're gonna think of you every day for years. It's a good or bad thing. What's the level of... So these are perfect examples of good ways to online shop and the promo code is down below and I guess I'm, so I'm done shopping for the day which means I get to go to Pinterest and look at recipes for things I'll never make. Ooh, that one looks very complicated. Hey Jeannie. Hey guys, it's Jeannie, and I've got spring fever! Do you? I'm feeling it. Hey Jeannie. Okay, so today I'm hosting my first barbecue party of the season, and I've got some tips for you. Number one, recruit a griller, okay? You can't be in charge of that when you have to be responsible for the, oh, hi, well, hi, oh, more. Find someone who's capable of flipping things when they're burning, and tell them that this pitcher is for them, and you'll keep it full for them. So that task is done. My tip for good barbecue sauce is if you put it in a different container, it looks homemade. You can also put half of it in another container, put hot sauce on that, and say, I made two. I made one that's hot. Pro tip, throw some lime on corn in the cob. They won't know why it's so different and so much more amazing, unless they have a cut on their lip and then be like, why'd you do this to me? If you're worried about your yard not being ready and you've got weeds, just hang up a string of lights up top or wear a fun hat. Get people looking up. And you can use your Aladdin Mason entertaining set to make things easier for you. Not lighter, but fill up one of these guys with a huge gin and tonic. And then you fill these little cups up and that saves you so much time so you have more time to socialize. Tweet me at Geniality if you guys have any barbecue party tips. No worries, no spills, and if you do, doesn't matter, you're outside. Hey, Genie. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No. Well, no, tell me now. Isn't this annoying? Smartphones are a party distraction and I'm going to tell you how to discourage them. Genie. Tip, serve messy foods. People don't like to smudge up their expensive smartphones. One time I was eating cheesy popcorn and I didn't check my phone for like over an hour. Tip number two, electromagnetize. Did I, that will work? The room, say it's a solar flare. Wow. I have no idea how you do that, but I'm sure there's a YouTube tutorial on it. At the moment when everyone wants to get out their phones to take a picture, provide colored pencils and let them draw it. Like what I did, mom. Give everyone the Aladdin flip and sit mug with the one hand button to flip. 
and press to sip. Mm. It'll help channel that ADD you've built up by playing with your phone all the time. Tip, have a phone bowl. When your friends enter, have them put the phone in the fish bowl. Anyways, after like one cocktail, you forget about your phone and get this, you guys, you listen and you're in the moment. And ladies, that's what we're all working for, right? We can be on Facebook all day at work. It'll feel weird. It'll feel like you lost your child. Well, I don't have a child, so I don't know, but I assume that you'd be as worried if you lost your child as you would if you lost your phone. I don't even need my phone. I don't even, except I want to take a selfie with it, so just. Hey, Jeannie. Let's talk about vegetables. Let's, so we're going to talk about how to provide veggie needs for all of your gatherings. Hey, Jeannie. I've seen kids recently eating the crap out of vegetables, and I've seen parents battle over whose kids eat more vegetables. Like, my kid eats broccoli, my kid eats nettles. People are eating nettles now. That's a, that's a new thing. When did Kale become like the coolest kid in the block? Why are there more pictures of you on my Pinterest boards than dresses that I'll never buy? When is Kale going to become a popular boy's name? We have Brock, we have Eggplant. Well, That's just what I call my friend's kid because I'm not mean. The similarities are uncanny. For your friends who are just easing into the vegetable world, the ones who think that rainbow chard is a colorful scarf, check out my Tumblr for my recipe for kale chips. I recommend that version. For your vegetarian friends, make it a hearty dish by adding beans. Apparently that's all they need to keep on trucking. Beans make a meal. Tip for the little ones who don't like vegetables, do for them what I do for myself and hide them in a smoothie. Can't even taste them. Mm -mm. Where'd they go? Oh, into my body and making my skin look beautiful? Is it happening right now? And please tweet me any ideas you have for vegetables, ways to hide them or make them better. And this has been Vegetable Genie. Hey, Genie. The latest fashion trend is to dress super normal. It's called normcore. It's a thing. I'm not making this up. Hey, Genie. So just to restate it, comfortable, Weather-friendly clothes are now in. It's just so comforting to know that fountain wishes really do come true. If this continues, I will marry Robert Redford circa the 80s. But now with Normcore on the rise, this is the time that we all regret giving away those satin warm-up pants from middle school basketball. How are we to know? Save everything. I mean, what's next? Taking lunch to work in these rad 80s lunch boxes? Aladdin used to make these. Look at the abs on that guy. So are you too fashionable these days to have any normcore clothes lying around? Tip, go to your mom and dad's house. I'm sure they have some pleated khakis. That's where I found mine. Thanks, mom. And here's Jeannie. She's wearing a purple windbreaker that looks exactly like one she had in eighth grade. And look at those pleated pants. She never knew her upper thighs could have so much room to move around. Oh, and what's that? An authentic 80s lunchbox made by Aladdin? And she's cool. Believe me, this is cool. Okay, so please tweet me photos of yourselves donning hashtag normcore. I think this is a trend I really love. I'm so grateful for it. Hey, Jeannie. I just learned something that I didn't tell you about in my vlog on book clubs. It's acceptable these days to choose a book for book club that you can read during the span of two glasses of wine. It's called The Young Adult Novel, and it's a loophole. Because it's a book, but it's not a book, you know? Hey, Jeannie. Here's a tip. Whenever the party conversation lags, bring up the YA novels that nobody reads, but everybody reads. People will start chit-chatting. And by young adult novels, I don't mean Anna Karenina, just because... You're forced to read it in high school. It's the ones you read at the beach. I'm just, that's what we're talking about. You can read it on a tablet and no one will know it's not for adults. But also, you know, we should just know what the kids are talking about these days. So I, no shame, a little bit of shame, definitely read The Hanger Pains. But I didn't know at the time it was a young adult novel and I was so proud of myself. I was like, I am plowing through this. But I do see my dinner parties as kind of a YA adventure. I'm the heroine, and uh, it's because I'm kind of messed up at first. But then I have my power juice. Tweet me if there's any other book club revelations that I have missed. And also if I've missed any, which character are you quizzes? Because those are fun. Hey, Jeannie. I just learned something that I...